everybody, it's Sam at Mix.Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I've got another gift box idea and this one I actually need three of them so I've already done two and you'll see on the top you've got this lovely bow and the side detail there and I've got these lovely sentiments. I really like these and I've got my gift tag already there. And then you just lift up the flap and inside will be two boxes of shortbread. Now you can see how much room's in this and you also notice in the title that I've said it could be a storage box as well because I think this would be brilliant to hold stamps, embossing folders, eight by eight paper pads. No, not eight by eight, six by six. Let me just check the measurements. I think I was thinking eight by eight, no, it's seven. So these six by six paper pads, but also just other little bits and pieces. You know, it's quite nice to keep on your desk. You might just want this half, which is quite similar to an embossing folder storage I already have on the channel. So I'll link that up here but it's a lovely style gift box nice and big you can put all sorts in here little bell that jangles there but yeah these shortbreads this particular one here is six and three quarters by six and a half by one and a quarter and like I said two of those fit perfectly inside here okay so yeah let's crack on and I'll show you how to make it okay so for this one again I've already done my tag you can see there, I've got a little shaker star, had these left over from last year. Pop some Nouveau drops along the bottom there. And then I've got all of that ready. I'm using the papers from the Snowman paper pad and I'm actually using the same ones again because I want them all matching. It's gorgeous and I only paid one ninety nine. It's eight by eight, it is paper, it's not cardstock, but I got it from the range. You never know, they might still be in there, but this matches the stamps and you've seen me use those in previous card making tutorials so we'll go through all of that stuff later and let's give you the measurements for these so you'll want one piece of cardstock that's 12 by 12 and you're going to score at two and a half and nine and a half and then rotate and along the other side you're going to score at two and a half and five okay so that's one piece and then on the other one this is a piece of 10 by 12 Along the 12 inch side you want to score at two and a half and nine and a half again. And then along the shorter side you want to score at half an inch and three inches. Okay, so that's all the scoring done. Next you want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. Okay, so starting with the smaller pieces is actually going to become our lid. What we want to do is along one of the short sides is you're going to cut up to the first score line like so and then again just here then you actually want to remove that piece completely this is going to be a tab that we're going to use to connect to the base and then flip it to the opposite side and again do the same so just cut up those two score lines and remove that little piece and then just take a little wedge off of the corners there and then what's going to happen is this is going to fold in like so and then we're going to cut across there on an angle so I'm going to use this glue here because it will dry nice and hard and then whilst this is drying we can start on the base so I'm just going to bring that under and across Don't worry if you've got anything overhanging here because you're going to trim that all away. That's why I haven't bothered because usually I do take off the sides of any kind of tabs but we don't need two of these. So there's that one and then again this end here. Bring that one over, make sure you've got a nice right angle, the sides there are straight. Okay so this is what you should have, you've got a little flap here and then just this open side but that's going to be the whole front of the box so just leave that now to one side and next we want this piece here so again along the sides here you want to cut up these two here so you're working on see I've got the large square and then these two rectangles it's there those sides you don't want to work along this side where you've just got the big rectangle the big square at the top there you want it so that for me it's on my right hand side at the minute and then again cut up this one here okay and then rotate and on the opposite side just cut the same okay then what's going to happen is you're going to bring these up and that one's going to fold over so what I would say is with these two here is we do now just want to cut I'm going to bring in my bigger scissors here and just cut 
just wedges off the sides again just to keep it all nice and tidy. Okay, so that's what we've got. So it doesn't matter what side you start on. And it doesn't matter if you put that one over there or that one over there. So I'm just going to again grab my glue and then bring up that one. And just make sure, because obviously you've taken, you know, um, some of the sides off. You still want to make sure you keep that as a right angle. Don't, don't try, you know, bring down this side so it lines up with that because you've already cut into it so it would make the whole box wonky. But now when I bring that over, you can see it's still going to be on that right angle. So I'll just stick this one down. Bring that one over. Okay, so that's now what you should have on that one. So next I'm going to come back to the lid and you might find it easier to draw a pencil line and it's easy to do if you just get your ruler. You're better off doing it flat on here because otherwise you won't get a straight line. But then you just mark with a pencil like so and then you can just follow that so if I now get my scissors I'm going to cut from this way so it feels more comfortable again you can rub out the pencil lines I guess you would kind of see this but just keep it nice and straight and you want to go from corner to corner like so I've only got a little bit of pencil there but that's how we're going to get our side so I'm just going to do this one freehand so I've done a few of these now and I've got my nice long scissors which mean I can get there pretty quickly and easily. There we go. I actually think that one's better. Okay, so then we can go to here, back to this piece. And you're going to do the same, but this time you're going to go from the top of this front section up to the top. So again, I'm just resting my scissors in there and I'm just coming across like so. Probably move that one out of the way so you can see it. And again, this time I'm going to come down from the top and just cut down like so. So you see what I mean? That's that storage piece now. If you Once we start putting our mats and layers on here, you can put one inside and also on the back as well. That will start to strengthen it. And there's, you know, perfect to put a diary in, maybe some papers, notepad, things like that. Okay, so next you want to... I'm going to use this glue because it's just quicker. You want to pop it all along the tab there and then you're just going to lay this one over the top. Make sure it gets right up to that score line and now that one will come down and close to form your box like so. Just make sure that is dry. Then I've got my mats so you'll want three pieces because so I've got one to go inside as well and you'll see now that will cover that join perfectly. I think one of them I made slightly bigger. So this one for the back, I've done it at, I think it was six and seven eighths of an inch squared. But then the ones on the front and inside, yeah, are six and three quarters squared, just so they have a, a bit more of a bigger border. But for this one, I did want to cover most of it. So now I'm going to go back to this glue and I'm going to get those all stuck down. Okay, so that's the back, the front and inside. You could also do in here, you could do in here as well if you wanted to. And then I've got one piece for inside here and this is to go on the top and I believe these are both the same size. Yep, yeah, they are. So these here are two and a quarter by six and three quarters. So like I said, one to go there and one on the top. And then I've also gone ahead and cut myself. Oh, I didn't need that one in the end. Yeah, I just used this one. So this is three and a half diameter and then I've also got the Glittered Sentiments by Simply Creative and I'm going to stick that one in the middle there and then I'm going to pop that on there and then I'll finish with the bow and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Okay, so that's nearly finished and now it's just to do the bow and this is just how I've done the other one. So if you've seen or made like the Lift and Reveal and there's another one as well, but I've got one piece that's seven by just over one, so one and one eighth. I don't know why, it's a piece of scrap, so again, it doesn't really matter, and this is eight by one, so it's slightly 
I might have to just trim that one because that one's going on top. If that was the one, the, the larger, the longer one goes on on the bottom because this one goes on top, it does need to be the same. So I would actually do two pieces of one by seven and one by eight. And you're just going to just put a curl in the paper, a little bit of hot glue. You don't have to use the hot glue, but it does speed things up. And I'm just going to attach that like so. So you've got a ring. And then again with this one. And then I'm gonna pop another little bead of glue just inside. And you just wanna bring it down so you've got an equal amount. So what I've done there, just pinched it and you can see your bow already, that shape. And again, just going along the join, another little bit of glue and just bring that down. And then you're gonna attach this one. So I'm just gonna pop some glue through the middle. And this is going to go right in the middle of that one. And then this piece, which I forgot, I thought it was a bit of scrap, but that's just going to go through the middle. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue there. And just pop that on the back and then make sure it's in the middle actually. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue through the middle and just wrap that across the centre. And then finish it with a little bit more glue on the back and just wrap that around. And then, whether you're putting it on the top, you might be putting it on the front, you might be putting it at the top like that. But I'm going to keep mine up there because I do like it. And then I'm just going to pop a big blob of glue and just position that in the middle of the top there like so and then my tag I just had it I kind of cut most of that off actually just pop a bead of glue underneath well, I'm doing it on the left side and then I'm just having it so that it can still hang down but it just kind of sits there and just squeeze that down and now you've got your tag attached and you can still see all the lovely design and open up the box with no problems. All I will do is pop a little bit of tape along the bottom to seal it, or you can pop some tape on the sides. If you want to get fancy, you could put another piece of cardstock here and have a Velcro closure. You could have a magnet underneath, you know, it depends. But for what I'm putting in these and for how quick they're going to sit under the tree and then soon be destroyed, I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape because you won't notice that. But okay, so there's my three flip lid gift boxes or storage so i hope you've enjoyed it i'll link everything as always in the description box below and i'll be back very soon with another tutorial bye